My name is Dumomi The Jig. And I started my music career at the really early stages of my life. You know, my dad used to play piano a lot and stuff. So he enrolled me in piano school and stuff. I'm not very good at the piano, to be honest, but I learned just enough to get by. <laughs> so, but yeah, it started when I was really young and it just, you know, I just never stopped, you know, playing music and stuff. And here we are, you know, it's much, it's morphed into this that we have today. A lot of people inspire me musically. Well, I'll start off with my dad because he's one of the people that ushered me into music. Then we have people like Wayne that made me want to rap in the first place. Jay-Z, you know, people like that. J. Cole. Yeah. The title of my song is called Walk the Lone. Mm. Yes, because I've walked alone, you know. My mother heard that song. I said, I will never walk alone in Jesus' name. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> just basically reflecting back on my life and my journey so far and how difficult it's been, you know, for the emerging artists. We don't like to use the word upcoming, emerging, you know, <laughs> how difficult it gets, you know, on the journey to where you're going to, you know. The most important part is the journey, not the destination, you know, all that corny stuff. Uh, is it a project on its own or is it part of a body of work? For now, I'd say it's a project on its own, but who knows, it might be part of, it might eventually be part of my project. I'm coming out with a lot of stuff this 2024, so who knows? So far, I could, all I can say is, I just have singles out now. And the project is in the works and it'll be and it'll be ready sometime in the year. I can't give out too much right now, but you guys should expect a lot coming this year. We're looking the first one, we're looking say five, six songs, or maybe eight if we're feeling adventurous. But the second one, there'll be much more songs inside, say 15, 30, who knows? In my catalog so far, um Niniola is a feature in one of my songs titled Maria. It's a lovely song, you should hear it. Maria out now on all streaming platforms. Uh, I like to work with Wiz. Yeah, I like to work with Rema. Rema, Remy boy. I like to work with Bernard David, you know, Kiss Daniel. Uh, the biggest risk I've taken for my craft. Pretty much, you know, facing his head first in a situation where it's not cute anymore. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Facing music head first as an adult. It's different, you know, you're not a kid that they are still taking care of, yeah. Yeah, at the point where you're meant to be taking care of people like, yeah, chasing music. It's like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> so I think that's the riskiest thing, deciding to go head first in music. Do I feel it was the right decision? Yes, I do. Because, you know, like, there's been so much progress within the past, within the past year that I'm just overwhelmed and it's, it's, it's been crazy. Yeah, my advice is, Stop asking for advice. Just do what you feel works for you, man. Because if I listen to 89% of, 89 and a half percent of the advice that people advise me, I will not be half of where I am today. So just do what works for you, man. Do what you feel works for you and, you know, be accountable for the results. Uh, how has the internet impacted my musical life? Well, there are some positives and some negative factors about it. Well, the positive, the positive side about it is that you don't need too many, you don't need a lot of middlemen to get your music across to your fans and everything. Once, you've, once you're done recording and stuff, you can literally just throw it out there and people are listening. But the con about it is, it's just so accessible that, you know, there's just an oversaturation in the market that sometimes it gets overwhelming for the listeners. And, you know, the, the good stuff, is mixed with so much trash out there that, you know, it's so difficult for the fans to actually pick out what, you know, works for them. So, yeah, you know, it's also affected my craft, you know, negatively in that aspect, you know, like just so many people just putting out stuff that is like, yo, what are you doing? Chill. But hey, here we are, you know, the cream will always rise to the top or whatever that saying is. That one thing that I've learned, people don't care. And that's okay. You know, don't, there's no need to have a chip on your shoulder because people are not supporting your music at the end of the day. People are going to support what they like. If they see a musician that they've not met from Adam and they like their stuff, they are going to post it. That's just human beings. Don't be mad, man. Just accept it that, okay, oh, this is not what they are feeling. Go back to the drawing board and record something else. Don't be mad that this particular song that I recorded, that 
everyone did not reply your status. Oh my God, fire emojis and all. It's all right, bro. Just record more music and move on. <laughs> if I could go anywhere, hmm. <laughs> you then <laughs> have so many questions. I might as well go to a place that can answer one or two questions. What do I have to say to my fans? Keep going, keep believing in yourself, do what works for you, and just, you know, believe, basically. And do mommy the jig on all streaming platforms. Check it out. Maria out, anticipating out, fantasy out, OI out, walk the loan out. Go get that. You can find my songs on all DSPs. You can find my song on Apple Music, Boomplay, Spotify, Audio Mac, YouTube, or wherever you choose to listen to your music. Yes, you type Dumomi space the space jig, then you write the name of the song that you happen to hear or like, then you know it will come out. Maria, I want to show my intentions. Maria, cause if you go on a depression. What it do, guys, is the mommy the jig, and I'm live in the echo room. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't know. Boop.